in the European RSX Windsurfing Championship. It's the day before the last. In this last day of the races before the medal race, you just need to be too careful. The main important uh, thing is to be stable, especially in this uh, place that uh, really, really shifty, tricky. For example, I had a, a day of strong winds, which I really like, and uh, just lost one start completely against the shift. I find myself uh, 30 on the mark, and uh, I count 15 in the end. And if it was just an average race for me around top five, so now I was first. So that's a good example of how tricky is this place. The breeze arrived at Fushal at 1200. Now was the time to hit the water, start racing. This was a day with the best of conditions, 15 knot winds under the glorious sun of Madeira. Kokolanis from Greece had the best start after Mirazinski in the first race of the day. The Greek wants this victory badly, and it shows. The left side of the upwind was gustier. Not surprising then that most of the fleet chose this side. The ones that picked the right side would encounter problems. Murazinski came on top at the downward mark. Kokolanis was now a few meters behind the pole with Nimrod from Israel following third. These top three athletes will fight against the waves and each other until the very end. Local hero Joa was fourth at this point, a pleasant surprise for his fans. This was not a day for taking things easy. All windsurfers rounded the mark at full speed. At this high level, technique and performance are only part of the picture. These athletes are all fighters. Really Kokolanis was the leader until the end, keeping safe distance from the second. But after all their vigorous efforts, the race committee decided to abandon the race in the end. What a pity. Until the race would start, our windsurfers had a few free moments. Time to touch the waves and wind. And there's Zahar Zubari putting on a show once again. Not his luckiest event, but he doesn't look that disappointed, does he? A surfer at his level knows how to keep his spirits up. The first race of the women's fleet race saw Bilska and Molestad making such a great start, with Davidovich and Skarlatu trailing them a few meters behind. The girls all chose the left side of the upwind, but which one of these two rivals from Spain would prevail today? They're so close. Alibo may be leading in the championship overall. Many points separate her from the others, but Manchon is not willing to call it a day even if she's facing injury. In the men's fleet race, the top windsurfers picked the race committee boat side. Greece's Kokolanis and Pastor from Spain were in the middle. Now, everyone knew which side was the favorable one, and this made for a tough race. Nimrod rounded on top at the downward mark this time, even if he hadn't had the best of starts. Tony from Germany was behind him. The other pole, Mizka, was third. Pastor was fourth now, and Mirazunski followed behind him. Again, the Greek was the one doing wonders. Kokolanis may have been the eighth to round the mark right in front of Joa, but he managed to move several places by the end. He scored a third. He's now at the top together with Mirazinski. They have the same points. That's it for today. The big day of this championship is tomorrow, of course. So stay tuned with us.